Alright, hello guys and welcome to my official June 2019 forecast. In this video, we're going to be going over temperatures, precipitation, and then your overall forecast. If you are new to the channel and this is your first video, perhaps, uh, I would recommend that you do subscribe to my channel as I make a lot of content like this and I'm hoping to be doing a lot of live streams in the future. I make winter videos, so for when the winter comes around, I'll be doing that. Hurricane videos, severe weather videos, all sorts of videos for all things weather across the United States. You can also comment down below if there is something you'd like me to make a video about, I'd be happy to try to do that for you guys. Uh, so if you are new to the channel, please subscribe. I would really appreciate to see you back on some future videos. Now we're going to be getting into this. We're going to be going again. We're going to be going over the temperatures, precipitation, and overall forecast. We go comparatively to normal, meaning basically you can see on the screen right now above average or below average, comparative to your normal. So that's really important to pay attention to. Uh, so if you're in the below average section, that doesn't mean that it's going to feel cold. That just means it's going to be colder than your average. So that's really important to note there. Anyway, let's get right into the video. Actually, one more thing before I do get started. We are going to be doing a second video breaking down kind of the reasoning for my forecast, why I'm calling for the things that I'm calling for. That's going to be after this video. It will be uploaded at some point. So if you're kind of into the like dynamics of how I make the forecast, if you like to nerd out about that kind of stuff, uh, feel free to watch that video as well after it's uploaded. Now we're going to start out in the central regions of the United States here, Montana, the Dakotas, Minnesota, Iowa, Missouri, Arkansas, Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Nebraska, Montana, Wyoming, Colorado, and New Mexico. We're expecting slightly below average temperatures there. Uh, and you can see there isn't a any scale larger than that on the below average spectrum. So we're expecting slightly below average temperatures or a slight chance at below average temperatures, but uh, nothing too noticeable there. We have two areas of above normal temperatures, though. You can see there's a slight area of above average temperatures there for California, Nevada, into Oregon, Washington, and Idaho. And there's even a medium shade of orange in there uh, towards the northwest portion of that region. For Northern California and uh, very Western regions of Oregon and Washington as well in that above average temperatures. And in that medium shade of orange, we have a little bit higher chance of seeing above average temperatures. That's where I see a particularly high chance of seeing those above average temperatures. Uh, so that's what that means. Now on the East Coast, however, we, we see the, uh, the, temp the high temperatures as well. So Miss Mississippi into Alabama, Georgia, Florida, South Carolina, North Carolina, Tennessee, Kentucky, Virginia, West Virginia, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Maryland, New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, Massachusetts. We're all expecting slightly above average temperatures in those regions. Now up against the coast, you can see there is that medium shade of orange. That's where we're expecting the more moderate chance at above average temperatures. So Florida into the coastal regions of the North Carolina, Virginia, Maryland, DC, Delaware, as well as Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, and coastal regions of Maine as well being involved in those above average temperatures. Now we're going to move on to precipitation and you can see there isn't any below average areas of precipitation. There's only above average sections. Within the gray area, there's an equal chance of seeing below or above average temp or precipitation, but it's also possible that you do see average conditions within those areas. Now we have a slightly above average chance at, at above average precipitation from Nevada into Utah, Idaho, Wyoming, Colorado, Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Nebraska, South Dakota, Missouri, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Tennessee, Kentucky, southern portions of Illinois, Indiana, Ohio as well as Alabama, Georgia, Florida, South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, West Virginia, southern portions of Pennsylvania and New Jersey, Maryland, Delaware, and D.C. We're all expecting to see slightly above average precipitation. Now you can see there is a medium shade of green going on over here. Uh, for Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, U uh, Oklahoma, Kansas, and Nebraska. That's where we're expecting, again, a little bit of a more elevated risk at seeing uh, above average precipitation. So particularly in that area, we're expecting above average precipitation. I think there will be some low pressure systems traveling into that region from your west, uh, and that's going to lead to some storminess for that area. Now we're going to get into your overall forecast, and I'm going to be breaking this down region by region or color by color. Okay, so we're going to start on the west coast. You can see above average temperatures there for California and, and the very western regions of Oklahoma and Washington. Again, you saw it in my temperature forecast that these areas were going to see above average temperatures. And here we're seeing it again. Now, this is going to be quite noticeable, I think, for northern California and the western portions of Oregon and Washington, like I said. 
uh, that's where we're going to feel it a little bit more. But to your south and east, you see them in that yellow section. That's where it's not going to be quite as noticeable, I don't believe. But for portions of eastern Washington and Oregon, as well as California and western Nevada, as well as a little bit of western Arizona right there, you can see that we're expecting slightly warmer than normal conditions. And you might notice it, but it's not going to be quite as noticeable as that previous section that I had just mentioned. Within the gray area, again, you are expecting near average conditions uh, or equal chances of having any of these. Now, within the green section, we do see that we're expecting stormy conditions. Again, I'm expecting low pressure systems to move into this area for northern New Mexico, northern Arizona, portions of Utah. Colorado, Wyoming, Idaho, and Montana as well. I'm expecting, again, stormy conditions and low pressure systems to be moving into this area quite frequently as we head into the month of June, particularly in the earlier portions, I think, of the month. But throughout the month, there is a good chance at that. Now, within your light blue section here, we have colder than normal conditions expected. Texas, Oklahoma, New Mexico, Colorado, Kansas, Nebraska, Wyoming, Montana, South Dakota, North Dakota, Minnesota, and a little bit of Wisconsin there. We're all expecting colder than normal conditions. There could be troughing in this area. And we've seen this in the previous months. I think since about September, we've been seeing colder conditions uh, kind of being predominant for the central regions of the United States. Uh, so it's kind of just the trend continuing as we, we're just kind of stuck in this trend. It, it will stop eventually, and we will head into some sort of other pattern. But for right now, it looks like we're going to stay in this pattern of cold in the central regions, warm along both the coasts. Now, in your red section, that's where we're expecting severe thunderstorms to be the most likely or the most favorable in these regions. So Texas, uh, Louisiana, Arkansas, Mississippi, Tennessee, Kentucky, Indiana, Illinois, Wisconsin, Iowa, Minnesota, South Dakota, Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma. We're all expecting to see the, the best chance for severe weather within these regions as that's in between where the cold and the warm looks to set up and as well as the above average precipitation. All of those things combined looks to really uh, create a, a, pretty good or a pretty good area for severe weather in the month of June. Now in your yellow section up here for portions of Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan, Indiana, Ohio, Pennsylvania, New York. We're expecting temperature swings. Uh, it's quite common for this area to see that. I was calling for that, I think two months back I called for that and it panned out quite well because it's, it's quite typical for this to happen uh, where we see kind of troughing and then it'll warm up and then trough and then warm up. Uh, you can ask anybody that lives there uh, and, and then they'll probably agree with that, that it, it is cold and then warm, cold and then warm. So we do see a lot of temperature swings in that area and I'm expecting that to happen throughout the month of June as well. Now, I'm expecting many thunderstorms there for the green area down below. Uh, for Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, Tennessee, Kentucky, Indiana, Ohio, West Virginia, Maryland, D.C., Virginia, North Carolina, and South Carolina as well. Uh, the slightly above average uh, temperatures and precipitation is going to lead to some above average thunderstorms, I think. So we're going to be seeing quite a few at least isolated events or scattered events of thunderstorms throughout this area. Maybe even some severe weather events in this area, but nevertheless, severe thunderstorms are going to be happening in this area quite frequently, I believe. Now, uh, we have two sections of above average temperatures here for the East Coast. Florida, uh, again, it, it should be quite noticeable in these orange areas, so you are going to notice that it is particularly hot this June. And then as well as Delaware, Maryland, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, and coastal Maine. We're expecting those above average temperatures, and you are going to feel it. It will be quite warm, like I said before. Uh, and throughout a lot of the areas to the west of you, we are expecting those slightly above average temperatures, but I did put some other areas that I think... Uh, like like many thunderstorms and temperature swings, I think that's going to be a little bit more noticeable than the warmth for you. So that's why I put those two other things. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. I wanted to say a little bit of uh, things about the new computer coming in. If you haven't heard, I knew a lot of my viewers would be watching this video, so I wanted to mention it again in this one because the one that I mentioned it the first time only got 2,000 views. So I know that a lot of you haven't heard yet. Uh, I did order a new computer, so I'm going to be uploading a lot more frequently and also doing a lot more live streams. That's my goal, at least, throughout the severe thunderstorm season, hurricane season, and snowstorm season. Hopefully, I'll be doing consistent live streams when we're having major events. That'll be a lot of fun to do. 
for you guys. I said in the previous video, and I'm still sticking with it, I would definitely be willing to skip work uh, to do a really solid live stream for you guys when there's something huge going on, so I'm really excited about that. The new computer is, has been purchased, and it's expected to be here by the 7th of June, uh, and really a lot of my lack of uploading recently has been because of the lagginess of my current computer. It's really aggravating, and uh, most days I just don't even feel like doing it, so it's killed a lot of my passion, actually. Uh, for making YouTube videos, but I've kind of gotten myself back hyped up again, uh, where I'm really excited to be bringing you guys new content, especially once the new computer's getting here. I'm going to be so excited uh, to be doing videos for you guys. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you subscribe if you haven't already. Anyway, I hope to see you in the next video. See you guys later.